أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم تر إلى الذين يجادلون في آيات الله أنا يصرفون الذين كذبوا بالكتاب وبما أرسلنا به رسلنا فسوف يعلمون إذ الأغلال في أعناقهم والسلاسل يسحبون في الحميم ثم في النار يسجرون ثم قيل لهم أينما كنتم تشركون أينما كنتم تشركون من دون الله قالوا ضلوا عنا بل لم نكن ندعو من قبل شيئا كذلك يضل الله الكافرين صدق الله العظيم These are ayat from Surah Ghafir The ayah number 69 70, 71, and 72. Let's begin with the ayah number 69. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asking a question in this ayah. And at the first hand, this question comes to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And then after him, to all whom followed him, and everyone who reads the Quran, because Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Allah subhanahu wa taala commanded him to say, "لأندركم وأوحي إلي هذا القرآن لأندركم به ومن بلغ." This Quran revealed to me, and I am commanded convey it to you and to those whom it reached so whoever reads the Quran this question comes to him Alam tara ila alladhina yujadiluna fi ayatillah beginning of the question we can find it in some places in Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asking Alam tara didn't you see or when this word used with ila, it may mean, it may means, did you not look at alam tara ila ladina? Did you not see at those, or did you not look at those? Alam tara ila ladina, yujadiluna. So it's something happened. At least it's happened. It may continue to happen. But at least it's happened because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asking, didn't you see? Alam tara ila ladina, didn't you see or didn't you look at those? Yujadiluna fi ayatillah, what's their attribute? What are they doing? Yujadiluna, they are struggling. Fi ayatillah, they are disputing. The ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are struggling with the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Striving against the signs of the only one God. They didn't like the only one God. They didn't like to have an only one God and to submit to Him. They didn't like this idea. And so, they started to struggle with this idea. And in the history, if you look at the history, you can see that in every period, in every time, the Satan and his companions from the jinn and from the humanity, 
from the devils and from the people. They all struggled with that idea, the only one God. They didn't like it at all. And in our lectures, we say, we try to understand, and we talked about it, that this idea, why it's why they hate this idea because they do not want to be controlled by Almighty God they do not want to submit themselves to the revelation they want to shape their religion they want to have a portion for them in that religion they want to have a handmade religion man-made religion they want to be free this is the main thing this is the main uh, thing which they pursue they want to be free they want they do not want to be servant of the creator so they produce some other deities and through them or over them they lessen the authority of Almighty God over them or they try to lessen his authority in that religion and through that idols they become to have a say in that religion like Quraysh did after Ibrahim they produced the idols and over them they changed the religion after a while you cannot find any religion only the authority of Quraysh they does they do whatever they will over the idols they say we ask the idols and we did something before them and we saw that the idols lead us in this way or in that way so they could manipulate or could rule the society but on the other hand, the society is also wanted this consequence. They said, we, we, want, we do not want to be ruled by Almighty God. We want to be free. So they give them what they want and they took from them what they deserve or what they pursue. So a relationship between the rulers and between the society, the society of shirk, they permitted them to commit haram they permit, permitted the society to commit haram they removed the, uh, the limitations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that religion and they asked them to accept these idols and those who produced the idols as the rulers so both sides benefited from that relation this is what when uh, this is like the ayah Ibrahim salam saying in that ayah innama attakhadtum min dunillahi awthanan mawaddata baynikum fil hayat dunya you have produced partners in this religion because of your desires because of your and, uh, love and relationship between you but this mawadda, this relationship this closity between them for dunya to leave this dunya for pleasure to enjoy this life so they could produce or they could open an environment a free air for them as if as if they get out the Almighty God from their life this is every time you can see the Satan and his companions try to do to get uh, out Allah from the uh, from uh, their life in order to be free and in order to uh, live whatever, whatever they desire this is the way of shirk so shirk is the beginning to be secular to be free from God this is the 
first step for them and there is no difference between that first step and between to be uh, an atheist denying Almighty God so didn't you see them they dispute the ayat the science of the only one God the science of the only one God is everywhere we talked about it in our lectures we are also his signs every creature in this life every creature in this earth even the earth itself the moon the sky the Sun and whatever you see in the sky the stars all of them shows us that that this is a system and this system needs an intelligence a knowledge a power and they are provided by Almighty God the Creator we are not such simple thing but those want to struggle with this proof with this evidences they try to produce theories in order to remove the idea of creation because when you accept the creation there is no way you should accept the only one God the only one creator because every single matter in this life shows us that they created by the same hand all of them from a atom and the system in, ev in every uh, matter in this life in every substance in this life shows us that they created by the same source so they need to refute the, uh, the idea of creation totally from their life so they try to produce some theories some ridiculous theories but they try at least they try to do something they try to open that area for themselves in order to remove their creator from their life didn't you see them they are they didn't end their dispute they didn't end their strive they are struggling yesterday they did today they are doing the same and in the future you will find those people struggling with the science of Almighty God didn't you see them those who want to refute the science of the only one God and we understand from the ayah that the signs of the only one God is clear are clear in this life and some people tries to refute them to cover up them and to deny them so they needed to produce them some theories in order to refute the signs of the only one God so they have their task is bigger than our task we will only show the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the signs of the only one God is already exists in this life we only will show them to the people we only will remind them to the people the people already knew them so our task is only in alayka illa al to remember them to remind them but their task is bigger than our task first of all they tr they will try to conceal the uh, the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they will try to cover up they will try to cover up something which is which is common in this life everywhere and then they will try to put something else in that place so their task is much much bigger than our task and when they try to deny they try to do something much much bigger than our acknowledgement we only acknowledge the truth we see them Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
makes them clear to us and we open ourselves, we open our eyes and see and acknowledge whatever we see. This is the way of belief. But the way of disbelief is much, much more difficult than the way of believing. Because when you see something, when you understand something, when you realize something, and then try to deny it, it's very difficult. It is as if you divide yourself from the middle. It's very difficult for a human being to be a hypocrite within himself, to see something and deny it. First of all, they will deny within themselves and then they will say we are not we do not see anything any sign of the creator and then they will substitute that idea with some theories with some new theories produced without any proof based on ignorance based on nothing so their way the way of disbelief is much much difficult and their psychology is very difficult according to the psychology of the believer. So do not assume that they enjoy this life. They take pleasure from their life. No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts them in darkness and they live in that darkness. They are in darkness. Even they cannot see their hand when they extend it to see it. Darkness of darkness. They are in it. Shadow of darkness. Liars of darkness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about their psychology. So the way of disbelief is the way of struggling, the way of striving. Mujadala. Alam tara ladina yujadiluna. Those who struggle, those who strive with the signs of the only one God. Because they do not want to accept it. They want to be free. But they cannot be free. Because they are created. They are creation. This is the reality. We should be realistic. Alam tara ila ladina yujadiluna fi ayatillah. We cannot remove the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from us. Anna yusrafun. Did you see them? How they are turning away. How Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala diverting them from the truth. Anna yusrafun. In this ayah, we see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions their action at the first hand. They struggle, they strive, they dispute in the science of the only one God. So their choice is clear. They do not want to confront the truth. They do not want to accept, they do not want to acknowledge it. So they refuse and they strive against the signs of the Creator. They, this is their choice. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala diverting them, diverting their heart, diverting their minds from the truth. Because of their choice. This is their choice and after a while Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opens them the way of Dalala, leads them to astray. Because this opportunity is limited in this life. It will not stay before them till uh, the end. Till forever. After a while, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in this period of time, according uh, the justice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, between every human being in this life, it's equal for every human being. It's not according to their age. It's something in their age, in their life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, at least for a while, He makes the ayat clear for them 
and makes them understanding it, realizing it, they are certain about it and they show their choice. And this is not for only for a moment, they show their choice for a period of time, they struggle and they show that we do not want the idea of the Creator. We do not want to acknowledge our Creator. We are the deniers. When they show plainly their choice, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala turns them away from the truth. This is like the ayah. سأصرف عن آياتي الذين يتكبرون في الأرض بغير الحق. I will turn away those who are who are arrogant. يتكبرون في الأرض upon the earth, arrogant upon the earth, without any right. They do not have that right. Look, Allah سبحانه وتعالى says without any right. If they have that right, okay then be arrogant as you deserve they do something they want something that they do not have that right they are not deities they didn't create it themselves they are the creation of almighty god but they want to be as if they created themselves they are arrogant they do not want to acknowledge their creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, سأصرف عن آياتها I will turn them away from my signs. Those who are arrogant on the, upon the earth without any right. سأصرف عن آياتها الذين تكبرون في الأرض بغير الحق And in this ayah, you see their choice clearly. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not say, I will choose some of them randomly and I will turn them away because I want to I want to put them in hellfire this is my choice I created them and my choice depends on nothing you cannot find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying that he is al-adl so when he turned them away there is there is there should be a real reason and it's clear in that ayah سأصرف عن آياتي الذين those يتكبرون في الأرض who are arrogant upon the earth بغير حق without any right تكبر being arrogant first of all against the creator and this is the biggest ظلم biggest injustice and then against the human being They do not have that right. They are the creation, the creation of the only one God. And they are each other equal. We are all equal creation of the only one God. He created us in certain roles in this life. Some men, some of them women, some of them poor. Different shapes, different nationalities, different geographical eras on the earth, but for the same goal, for the same reason, to appreciate the Creator and respect Him. And we have that faculties to do that. And we have, so we have that responsibility. This is the creation of Almighty God. We cannot struggle against Him, against the Creator. Creator. If we struggle against Him and try to open and try to have this life for the pleasure as if we want without any limitation, as if we created them, and we know that we do not have that right, we didn't create this earth, we didn't create ourselves, we didn't set up this universe. So if we try to do that, this is arrogancy against the Creator, against the owner of this life. 
when we try to deny him this is the biggest crime in this life Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says after they show me after they show explicitly their choice I will turn them away from my signs and relieve them so you see some people relieved they do not have that difficulties in their mind they say in when I was young I think I thought about the religions yes I have some t I doubted about them and some difficulties but then after a while after 40 or 50 now I see that it wasn't so important now I do not have any difficulty or any anything any problem I see that this life began itself and uh, no creator no religion yes you can see some people Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala diverted their minds from the truth relieved them so they will live their life the rest of their life without any difficulty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not remain for them any portion for the hereafter whatever goodness they have they will consume it in this life and will die as an arrogant as a denier of Almighty God and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will admit them directly to Jahannam this is the rule the sunnah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and remember the wording the saying of Moses alayhi salatu wasalam in Quran with qala Musa li qawmihi when Moses said to his folk لِمَ تُؤْذُونَنِي Why are you harming me? وَقَدْ تَعْلَمُونَ أَنِّي رَسُولُ اللَّهِ إِلَيْكُمْ While you certainly know of that, I am messenger of Allah to you. Why are you harming me? Harming me? While you know that I am the messenger of Allah. Look, they know that the messenger of Allah, that Moses is the messenger of Allah certainly they are certain about this truth but still they are harming him and he is asking them why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says describes their situation when they deviate Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala caused their hearts to deviate so for at the first hand they deviate from the truth and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala caused their hearts to deviate yes they know that Moses is the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but they do not like to accept the revelation from that source from one source to live in accordance the revelation they didn't like it so they try to find a way try to find a way and remove the revelation from their life and so the messenger from their life and they began to harming him to harm him while they know that he is the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so the same thing is clear here they know the truth and although they know the truth they choose the false and after choosing falsehood Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala diverting their minds their hearts this is the way this is the sunnah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because they didn't use it because they didn't appreciate that valuable thing that valuable faculty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted it to you 
then after a while Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take it back from you look at them anna yusrafun how are they diverted from the truth so the same wording exists in that ayah سأصرف عن آيات الذين يتكبرون في الأرض بغير الحق وإن يروا كل آية لا يؤمنوا بها even if they should see every sign of the only one God لا يؤمنوا بها they will not believe in it because it's it's not the matter that they do not have that knowledge and they are not sufficient uh, they do not have suf uh, sufficient knowledge, enough knowledge. They couldn't be certain. It's not the matter. They are certain, by, but they choose the way of falsehood. So if you increase the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to show them, it will not change anything because they are already certain about that truth. And in spite of that truth, they made their ch their choice in the negative way. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I turn away those people. Even if you show if you show them every signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they will not believe in it. So look how they are solid and how their choice is plain and there is no doubt clear choice Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala divert them only there is no any exception in them no innocent between them their choice is clear against the truth and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala seal up upon their hearts and divert them from the truth after their clear choice وَإِنْ يَرَوْ كُلَّ آيَةً after if they, before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala divert them, if they should see every sign of the only one God, they wouldn't believe in it. لا يؤمنوا بها وإن يروا سبيل الرشد لا يتخذوه سبيلا Even if they see the way of consciousness, they will not adapt it as a way. لا يتخذوه سبيلا وإن يروا سبيل الغي and when they see the way of error, يتخذوه سبيلا, they adopt it as a way. إن الله لا يهدي القوم الفاسقين. Be sure that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do not guide those who are defiantly disobedient. إن الله لا يهدي القوم الظالمين. Be sure that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do not guide those who are unjust who are arrogant, arrogant because their choice is clear against the truth Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will open the way for them according their choice namely will lead them astray because they choose the way of astray أَنَّ أَلَمْ تَرَ إِلَى الَّذِينَ يُجَادِلُونَ فِي آيَاتِ اللَّهِ أَنَّ أَنَّ means here how didn't you see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala divert their minds from the truth? Didn't you see the real reason at that? فَلَمَّا زَاغُوا أَزَاغَ اللَّهُ قُلُوبَهُمْ When they deviated, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala caused their hearts to deviate. This is the rule of Almighty God. So do not imagine that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala randomly choose some people or he choose beforehand and name them as a kafir, as a disbeliever and no way there they should be a disbeliever in this life how it can be if you imagine Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that way then you imagine him as uh, a cruel one as an unjust one and this is not proper to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And while the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's not proper to the Quran. You see the Quran, in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala openly say that 
he only uh, caused their hearts to deviate. Those who are arrogant, those who are unjust, and those whose deeds, whose choice is clear in the negative way. Otherwise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is most merciful. In tashkuru, in takfuru, fa inna Allah ghaniyun ankum. If you disbelieve, be aware, know that you cannot harm Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by your disbelief. You cannot de decrease His dominion in this universe, His kingdom in this universe. You cannot decrease, decree, uh, decrease by your disbelief. In takfuru fa inna Allah ghaniyun ankum wa la yarda li ibadi al kufr. And it's clear in the ayah, Allah subhanahu wa taala will not be ple pleased with that choice, with the choice of kufr. Allah subhanahu wa taala do not like that. But it doesn't mean that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will prevent the person from doing that. No. At that, uh, if that case, there will not be a free will for the human being. And the, everything will lose its meaning. The, the good ones and the evil ones, everything will lose its meaning. They are, we all like angels without any will and we would not deserve any reward or would not deserve any punishment everything will lose its meaning at that point Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us this will as a manna in this life we are on the surface of earth can do whatever we want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opened the way if we want to deny him we can deny him if we want to appreciate his blessing over us and thank him. Both way is open before us. And we have that will, we have that choice. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do not prevent, prevent any.